Kendall in Washington, who wants to finish me off on slavery. How are you, Kendall? Exodus 21, 16 and 1 Timothy 1, 10. Disprove your Bible, your claim that the Bible uh, condones slavery. No, they don't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Exodus 21, 16 is about kidnapping people. It's not about whether or not people can be property. In the very same fucking chapter where... Yeah. In the very same chapter where it says, don't keep, no, oh my God, are you going to listen or are you going to talk? Go ahead. Exodus 21, 16 says, anyone who kidnaps someone should be put to death. Slavery is not kidnapping. That's what they did at, back in the day, the day, silly. That's what Africans did. Hey, Slavery silly. Did Slavery exist. is not the same as kidnapping. And the Bible in the very same book no, and yeah. chapter allows slavery, does it not? No. It doesn't? That's what I've been trying to tell you. No, it does not. I just oh, gave you the verses. Open, oh, what's your favorite version of the Bible? Read the entire... Exodus. What is your favorite fucking version of the Bible, Kendall? King, King James. King James. I'm going to pull up the King James. And you said Exodus 21.16, right. correct? Exodus twenty one sixteen and First Timothy sure. one ten. No, I don't need to go to First Timothy yet. We're going to start with we're going to start with Exodus twenty one sixteen. Have you got your Bible open? Do, do you have your Bible open? Well, how are you? De are, you're de what are you defining slavery? Just want to make sure. Not that it matters. I mean, slavery Not is the matters. owning of another person, another human being, as property. As property. Correct. Yeah, okay. All right. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Here. You're saying the Bible doesn't sanction that? Of course not. I just gave you one of the, the verses. I can give you more. You, so Jeremiah, you're saying the Bible you does not say that you can own human beings as property? No. You just you didn't read the entire uh, Exodus 2016. I did read the Exodus 21. It's 2116, not 2016. The, the chapter 2116. And anyone who steals or kidnaps another and either sells him or still has him when he is caught must be put to death. Yeah, that's that about slavery. stealing a person. That's not slavery. That is it, 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 in possession. That's what it means. No, no, no. It's, do, you, do you realize that kidnapping him. and slavery are two different things? That was what they did back in the day. They're not, it's part do you think, of- Do you think that they didn't kidnap people back in the day? I, it, that, so, it wasn't just kidnapping, it's selling them as well. Kendall. That's, that's, that's why it's slavery. Kendall, Kendall, are you gonna listen to me or am I gonna hang up? Go, go, go. I, so, Exodus twenty one sixteen says that you're not supposed to kidnap people. However, Exodus 21 sanctions slavery as does Leviticus 25, for example, where Leviticus 25, verse 45, says, Moreover, the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them ye shall buy, and of their families that are with you, which they began in your land, and they shall be your possessions. And ye shall take it as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them as possessions. They shall be your bondmen Forever. Yeah. And what did That's I say? Slavery. About Leviticus slavery. chapter 25, 9, 10. They, free, they were free. They set them free right afterwards. No. Oh. Kendall. 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 Did you not just read along with me where it says they will be your bondsmen forever? It wasn't forever. It was just it was forever. It literally says forever. Leviticus twenty one. Leviticus twenty one. That was that. Handel, you're you're not listening and you're not paying attention. But Leviticus twenty five. No, you're not. Leviticus twenty five says that you're that your property forever. Exodus twenty one tells you exactly who you can enslave. How you have to let your Hebrew slaves go after seven years, and everybody gets let go after fifty years in the jubilee but that you can trick your Hebrew slaves into becoming your slave forever. Are you aware of that one? It's in the same fucking chapter. Have you not read all of Exodus 21? Exodus 21. Absolutely. It's not. If, it's, if, a, if a servant comes and says, I love my master and my wife and children, and I don't want to go free, that's then his master. Exactly. Kendall, that's, that's choice. You, Kendall, you have no interest in 
Oh my God. Kendall, will you be my slave under the rules of Exodus 21? Well, you're giving me the choice. I certainly would. No, no, no. I'm asking you if you will be my slave. Once you become my slave, the choice is no longer yours. I will be able to beat you because that's allowed in Exodus 21. No, it does not. That's not true. I'm... Wow. It's not true. It does not verbatim Open say your Bible. you can be slave. Verbatim. Open your Bible. Verbatim, you can be slave. Kendall? Does it say verbatim? Kendall, if you're going to lie about your Bible and not play and not play fair, I'm going to hang up on you. Are you a biblical scholar? Yes, motherfucker. Way more than you are because I can actually read it to you. And I wanted you to read along. Exodus 21.20. Anyone who beats their male or female slaves with a rod must be punished if the slave dies. But they are not to be punished if the slave lives a day or two because the slave is their property. Exodus 21, the same chapter, only four and five verses past your thing about kidnapping. Exodus 21, 16 is about kidnapping. Exodus 21, 20 and 21 says that you can beat your slaves as long as they don't die within another a day or two because they are your property. I'm you sorry. That. that does not verbatim say that. Wow. I'm talking about it, it's just, you're yeah. specific. Wow. Can you see the screen? Can you, you see the screen? Oh, are you watching the show? Look at the screen. The no, I'm not. They told me not to. Okay, then don't. I know what you're talking Kendall, about. I Kendall. Don't say specifically verbatim. I just fucking read it to you verbatim. Anyone who beats... You can be slaves. Kendall. Yes, Exodus 21 20. Say that. It, uh, Kendall, uh, you are a dishonest liar. Go I open your Bible. If you read it, you'd know this. Everybody, okay. every single person on the planet who's following along can read this for themselves. Go go to BibleGateway.com. Go. I have a stack of Bibles off to my left, and every you're, you're one totally of them is what I just told you. You're you don't know scholar. what you're talking about, Kendall. You are confused. You don't know your Bible. You don't care about what the truth is. You just wanted to call in and hear yourself talk. Congratulations. You were successful. You Kendall, know. Kendall, you read it to us. You read it from King James, from your version. You okay. read it to us verbatim. Yeah. Read it verbatim. Okay, very good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. Exodus twenty one twenty one. Notwithstanding, if he remains alive a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his property. It doesn't say you can be slaves. Go one say. verse north of that. Go read verse twenty. Uh, verse twenty. Uh, verse 20. It was one verse above the one you just read. How can you be having a problem finding it? I don't think you're legit. I think you're a troll. Read 2120 uh, right yeah, now. I just, I, I was 21. Uh, okay. Anyone who beats their male or female slave with a rod must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result. Uh, yeah. That's but okay. I'm not sure. Well, that doesn't say you can beat. Slaves. You didn't say you can. What you're Fucking talking Christ. about? Christ. Goodbye. Exactly. Goodbye. You're not. It says you can beat slaves as long as they don't die. He's gone. He literally just read it out in the same words I did. It literally says you can beat your slaves as long as they don't die within a day or two. That's all the patience that I have for today, and we're past the six o'clock hour. I'm sorry that you had a little hiccup at the end, Jenna, because I, I would have much rather let you have a read. Wanted and me go back and forth to him. I wanted to talk, talk to him so bad. I hope he calls back. I hope I never hear from him again. <laughs> because I don't think he's real. I don't. I have more respect for humanity and people than to think that someone is stupid enough and confused enough to be able to read that verse back to us verbatim, say that it doesn't say what it actually says, and that that person is also smart enough to find and be able to call into a program. I don't even think that person, a person that dumb, could tie their fucking shoes, let alone yeah. call it. This was not real. This was, oh, it says you can't kidnap people, and it doesn't say you can't beat them. And then he reads the verse that says you can beat them. It, you know, the tone of voice, the whole, oh, I gotcha. Like that right there is just so cringe to me. Like it, it it's just not honest. It's not nice. It's not what I would have called Christian. Yeah. It's embarrassingly bad. And the thing is, Every biblical scholar knows exactly what those verses say. They know what it says in Exodus 20. They know what it says in Leviticus 25, and they know what it says in Deuteronomy as well. The Bible has a very bad take on slavery, which is why even some of the worst Christian apologists, like Ray Comfort, when he called in, and I tried to get him to, to address what the Bible says about slavery, his response was, 
he never said he believed everything in the Bible. He'd rather pretend that that part of the Bible is wrong than have to deal with that, that issue. It's the reason I bring it up. It says it very clear. Exodus 21, Leviticus 25, there's a Deuteronomy, which I'm forgetting right now. Yeah, that if that person is real, they're beyond conversation. They're beyond reason or discussion or hope. Yeah. But I don't think they are. Uh, I've been on the internet long enough to know that that was more likely to be somebody who just wanted to call in. Maybe they're looking for a clip or whatever. But yeah. yeah. on that note, thank you very much, Jenna. I enjoyed being with you today. I hope you're having a good day and things uh, are improving for everybody else out there. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Follow the health and safety guidelines in your area, depending on how your area is dealing with the pandemic. Take an extra step. Be extra cautious because some of us have been sheltering in place for months now and things have gotten worse in, in a number of areas. Um, I, I went out. I, I've left the house for the first time in months uh, to eat social distance dinners from a dozen feet away from anybody else on the planet. Uh, and it was still anxiety inducing mm. because we're not to a point where we're actually safe and making progress and it's because there's problems with honesty there's problems this is the thing in the same way that kendall wouldn't would, would read what it said word for word and then claim it said the opposite that's what some people are doing with regard to the science around this pandemic and what's the so, harm yeah, and so even though I'm convinced that Kendall was a was was a, a dishonest troll, um, it's possible that Kendall was for real. I but know. I want everybody. I'd love it if everybody were skeptical. I know you're not. I'm mean, not you, Jen. I mean, I know people out there are not all skeptical. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be speaking to Dragon Con uh, remotely at 1 p.m. Fun. Uh, Eastern, and it'll be my second year doing doing this with Dragon Con. Um, it's remote this year. It's all online. And I'm, I'm looking forward to interacting there because every interaction I have, whether, you know, remotely, it, it does a lot to make this bearable and to keep me from ripping into every mask hole jackass that I run into out in the world. Mm. But we are going to continue to keep doing this. I'm going to continue to hold people's feet to the fire, no matter who thinks I'm angry when I'm not or who thinks I'm upset when I'm not. We'll keep working through technical issues. We'll keep doing all the things because not only are, is what we're doing important and valuable because there are people who do change their minds. And there are people who do benefit from these conversations. Maybe not always the person on the phone, but there is a group and a crew of hardworking people who we can put up on the screen who make this show happen on a regular basis and, oh, there's another kitty. <laughs> oh, it's all the kitty. Everybody, if you've got cats, you should have them all up. I want to go but, get mine. <laughs> happy birthday to Vern. Thank you so much to everybody who volunteers and helps out and does this show. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. And we will see you all next week. Bye-bye.